All right, Tending Bar with Finley. Today's drink is going to be the Aviation. I was first introduced to the name of this drink when I was perusing the menu of the, the Sky Bar or whatever it's called at the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. Now the Burj Khalifa is a little high dollar for a man of my taste. I prefer a bar in my basement. So we're going to make one right here. It's very good, very easy to make if you can get a hold of the ingredients. You're going to take some gin. I'm using Bombay Sapphire East. I, uh, I think I prefer for a mixed drink, I prefer just regular gin, like uh, regular Bombay Sapphire Tanqueray, but this is what we have to hand. You're going to need a chilled cocktail glass like this one. You're going to need a jigger, a shaker, another part of a shaker, some ice, and if you can get a hold of the ingredients, creme de violette. I had to order this by mail. Maraschino liqueur. Now, this is not maraschino like the cherry. It's not sweet at all. Um, it's made out of the cherry tree bark, I believe. Um, but again, I had to order this by mail. You're going to need some lemon juice, which of course is available at your local grocery establishment. And you're going to need an actual maraschino cherry as a garnish. So, what you're going to want to do, get some ice. Again, we're going to be using a Lewis bag because that's how I like to do it. It makes me feel like a big man when I crush up ice with a hammer. It also gives you a little bit more control over the way the ice is crushed. So by only hitting it a little bit, I've only crushed the ice a little bit. I can go all out and have very finely crushed ice, or I can do it just a little bit like we've done here. Now again, you do get a little bit of freezing of the ice inside the bag, um, and you might have to dig it out. But we're not having that problem today. So you're going to need two ounces of gin. Now because this drink does have lemon juice in it, you can probably make it stronger if you like. Um, but it's not a martini, it's a, just a regular cocktail. So we're just going to use the requisite two ounces. That's one. That's two. <clears throat> now the lemon juice. Three quarter ounce of lemon juice. And again, you could probably get away with less lemon juice or more gin or however you wanted to make it. Um, and indeed, the recipes are pretty much all over the map for this. Um, you're going to use half an ounce of the maraschino liqueur. Now this drink gets its lovely blue color and its name from the creme de violette, which you use a quarter ounce of. A creme de violette, as you might imagine, is made from violets and it is a deep purple color. It gives the drink a lovely blue tint. It makes it look really nice in a glass. It makes it taste good too. Not the tint, the ingredients. So we're going to cap this, let it sit over the ice for a moment. We're going to garnish the drink with a cherry. Just one cherry. We're going to shake. Now, if you have any trouble getting the Boston shaker open, it can be easier to just use your mallet. beautiful classic 1920s style cocktail right here in your own home. Enjoy.